Let us stand up for the rights of the little guy against the impersonal power of some gigantic corporations. For a case in point, let's take the case of Jeremy Hoven from a small city near Grand Rapids, Michigan, who worked as a pharmacist for Walgreens. One early morning at 4.30, Jeremy, Hall, Jeremy Hoven was in his store when two armed thugs came into the store and made advances toward Jeremy, towards other people in the store. Jeremy has a state-issued permit to carry a concealed handgun. He drew his handgun. He fired in the direction of the would-be robbers. The would-be robbers fled. Jeremy thereby protected his life and the lives of others and probably the pharmacy from being robbed of drugs and perhaps other products as well. So Jeremy would seem in all intents and purposes to be a hero, right? He defended the right to life, his own life, the lives of others. Not to Walgreens though, oh no, no, no. Walgreens told Jeremy he could either resign or be fired. Jeremy chose not to resign, so Walgreens fired him. Citing their non-escalation policy. So here we, ha we have a ridiculous situation in which Jeremy, in May, defended himself and probably others and the store and as being penalized by the store management, by the company management, for doing the justifiable thing, for defending himself and others. Now, Jeremy has filed suit in federal court in Michigan. But beyond that, though, it is time for people to stand up to, to impersonal factions at Walgreens and in other companies around the United States. It is time for people around the country to demand that Walgreens re rescind its asinine policy. It is time to let the chairman of the company know that the people of the United States do not appreciate, will not abide by, and will continue to criticize the anti-interventionist policy of Walgreens, which works against the right to self-defense, against the legitimate right to self-defense, against the right to life of its own employees and of other people who would use the store. They have many stores throughout the company. They have many stores throughout the country of the United States. It's time for people who believe in the right to keep and bear arms, in the right to self-defense, in the right to life, in justice, and in ordinary common sense to take a stand against the wall green corporate policy, and by doing so to stand up for the legitimate rights of the individual. It is time, in other words, for Americans to take a stand for justice right and freedom.